What's up everybody? Um, I'm just doing a little video here to kind of update the bio orb that I set up a long time back and I asked everybody whether they wanted to be fresh water or salt water and let them decide so um, mostly everybody said salt water and I ultimately wanted to make it salt water just to see if I could do it. Um, the bio orb's doing pretty good. It's been running a few months now so basically here it is. I got a Kessel A80 Tuna Blue set up. Um, I'm running a little heater in here and a little power head in here. So I got some corals in here. It's doing pretty good. Uh, got a power head right there. Heater's kind of hid between these rocks. I don't know if I can catch it, I can't remember exactly where it is, but it's kind of behind here somewhere. There it is, right there. I can catch the top of the heater right there. So it's doing really good. Um, the filtration, I'm kind of happy with it. Um, I like to run carbon in here, but I really can't. Filtration is down here in the bottom, uh, right there. Basically, it's just like a round filter pad. There's ceramic media that I put in underneath of that. And that's basically how it works with the air stone. And it pulls water through the filter through the filters at the bottom comes up through there just from air pressure um, other than that I guess I'm kind of happy with it the one thing I did figure out with this bio orb is when you run fresh water in this thing it really doesn't create a lot of bubbles um, at the top the way you see it now but since salt water creates like a foamy type thing when the um, bubbles come out they kind of all collect here at the top everywhere all around the edges a lot it does this right here but the good part about that that I have figured out is um, depending on how much air I have gone through this and right now I have it turned almost all all the way up on my pump is that um, all in the bubbles up here it starts getting brown and gook you know around this top lip here and basically what that's doing is acting like a skimmer, which I think is pretty cool. I didn't honestly expect that to happen, but it does. So, you know, it's its own built-in skimmer, really, which is really cool. So I totally enjoy that aspect of it. Um, I do have corals in here, some galaxia and flower pots and um, got some akins right there and um, a blasto right there, some zoas. Um, now Duncan, he's not really happy. He's all in. He's not completely dead, but he's not all good now either. Some button polyps down here. Um, let me put a lens over top of this, a filter, see if that changes the look at all of how anything's going on. Oh yeah, I got that Monty stick growing right there pretty well. It's not dying off. That's how I bought it with those tips all the way they are. So hopefully it'll start coming back and growing really good. But other than that, it's pretty happy. So let's put this filter over top of here. I don't know if that, eh, I don't know that it makes any kind of a huge difference in how everything looks, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I enjoy it. Got four fish in here, clown, angel, six, six line wrasse, um, platinum clown down there. So those are the four fish that are kind of chilling out in that thing. I got about, I don't know, probably 10 pounds of live rock that I put in here. Um, initially, I did have crushed coral in this thing, if you watched the prior video about this bio orb. But come to find out, um, in order for the water to penetrate through the filter, I can't get a good picture of this. But if you look at the sides going straight down of this filter, it, it kind of sits up about an inch and a half or two inches. There's slats in it. And what winds up happening is the crushed coral gets pulled into the filter is what happens. So that's not a good thing. So then it blocks it all up. I figured that out. So I just decided to take all that out and just, you know, put a bunch of live rock in here all, all around it and leave that middle part, you know, open. And it's just all clear. Nothing around it, just rock. Um, it doesn't look horrible being able to see the filter there. Just in general, like when you walk around it and look at it, you know, everything 
looks good. You don't really notice it so much. It doesn't stick out like a sore thumb unless you get right up on it. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like it. Got all my two power cords run here and the A80 is screwed to a little mount on the wall here since it won't go to the tank. So it just kind of sits behind it. Looks good. Can't really see any cords or anything around it. It's just like its own little system. Um, I guess the only thing I wish is that the filter was like a little bit better. Maybe I could run some carbon in it or something to that effect. But I mean, it's, it's running good. Everything's working out. The corals seem really happy. Um, now this pump in the back, this power head that I have, um, I have a, I can't really show it, it's behind all this couch and everything, but basically I have a timer that this plugs into, a digital timer on the wall, and it runs this power head on for 10 minutes, off for 5 minutes. So it's just like a cycle, and of course obviously right, right now it's off because nothing's moving around. It gets a little flow from the filter, from the water pulling in, that's why this flower pot seems to be pointing inwards because that's how the flow goes without the pump on so it does get movement in there even without that power head a little bit not a lot but just enough to make a difference when it turns on it really blasts everything around and does you know really good so it's kind of hard to get everything on here looking good just for the fact that this thing is round and it kind of acts like a magnifying glass wherever you look at it enlarging everything so but other than that it's really cool it's doing really well um, like I said this is eight gallons eight gallons you know I do water changes weekly in it two and a half gallons keep everything nice and happy in here um, like I said I'm really really happy with it I can't find anybody else online that has like a full-on Saltwater Reef Bio Orb. I see, I've seen a couple videos. People have bio orbs um, set up with just salt water and you know fake decorations with you know their fish and everything. But I'm trying to see if I can really do a full-on reef in here, you know, to just to see if it's possible. And everything's working out really, 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 really good. I don't know that I like this filter. But then it doesn't look that great with just all the blue either. So, but anyway, this is really cool. I enjoy it. Everybody that comes to my house, they uh, look at my tanks, you know, and this is the one they always seem to gravitate to for some reason, saying it's the coolest thing they've ever seen. So, I mean, it is cool. I do enjoy it. It's a lot of work doing water changes all the time, but, um, let me see a couple little things so initially this thing had a light on top of it it just had like a little bulb in it to light the aquarium it was like a big black thing that sat right here dead on top and then underneath of it it came down into the water like a clear acrylic thing underneath of the light they had a little light bulb that screwed into the bottom so that sat right dead on top um, of course you know I needed better light than that so basically I took that thing off there um, I took some tubing and ran it around this rim right here so light could still penetrate through here. And then I made this top out of acrylic. Um, and I made this little handle right here out of acrylic myself. That's like four or five pieces of layered acrylic that I just glued together and glued together and glued together until I got thick enough to where I can grab this on. Of course, it's glued to this top piece. Um, I'm then, um, with this top kind of wet um, I just glued like airline tubing all the way around the edge here so that's what's going on there I just glued it right on these two tips and the rest of it just kind of sits on there so that's what happens there and of course I got that little cutout for my power lines right there but this sits whoops I just hit my light this sits just right on top of here just acts as like a nice little lid so that's all good let me fix my light so that's what's going on there um, I like that this whole little lid thing turned out really cool being able to be sealed through here when you lay them on it's got you know some air coming out of there and of course you got agitation on top from the air bubbles coming through 
for the air stone. So, you know, give me y'all's thoughts on this, you know, in, in the comments. I mean, what, what do y'all think about it and whether this is too small of a tank to keep or, you know, I shouldn't be doing this maybe. Um, like I said, the only one thing I hate about this is the um, air bubbles that, all the micro bubbles that collect on this thing. It kind of takes away, uh, it's not so bad on the video, but when you're, you're here in real life, it really does take away from the tank, you know, a lot. Um, but I took and made a little, my Innovative Marine magnet cleaner. So I bought that and the soft side on the outside is great. But on the inside, it was like a little harder. Like this was meant for glass. There's some water, I want to take the lid off. But the inside was really hard. You know, meant for glass, cleaning glass. And I thought I'd scratch this acrylic to pieces when I did that. So I ripped that off there on the inside part. I took took off the uh, the hard stuff and I went to Home Depot and bought some um, uh, some uh, industrial strength Vel Velcro. And I took the soft side of that and glued it to the inside. So that way I can just go across here and it keeps the acrylic really nice and clean and does a good job cleaning it, it doesn't scratch it, doesn't have like that really super rough side. And this thing works great. So basically I'm all the time doing this so these air bubbles don't look horrible. That's like just like the constant problem that I'm having just because of, you know, the way the system is set up. So, but that's just something I gotta deal with. But um, I do enjoy this tank. It is super cool. You know, it's really neat. Lots of fun, you know, keeping up with it and watching it. So, yeah. Put this magnet around behind here. We can't see it. So that is that. It's just getting you like a nice, another little quick view of everything. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's going good, going good. So there you go. That's what's going on. Oops, getting a focus here. That's what's going on with the bio orb. Like I said, this thing is not very big at all just eight gallons but everything seems happy everything's doing well um, I'm not sure if I should really have four fish in this thing but I wanted the wrasse um, I wanted the two clown fish and as far as the uh, angel goes I just got like a really good deal on him and I have one in, in another tank my 10 gallon but uh, I don't know I think I'll leave them all four in there. Everything seems to be doing good. All my levels are good, so I'm pretty happy with it. You know, it's like a tank that you don't normally see, something round and nice like this. So, um, now let's take a quick look at one of my other tanks. Oh, just real quick, the 65, there it is. Put a filter on, that's chilling over there. We're not gonna look at that in this video, but my 10 gallon. So this has been up and running for, I don't know, three or four years now. It's been through a lot of different iterations. I've changed it around a lot, changed the aquascape, the rock work, took corals in and out of it, grew corals in here, took pieces of corals out of here, put them in other tanks, and it's just doing really good. So, but the one thing I did notice was this. Um, I used to get phenomenal growth in this tank. Like these star piles would just take over everywhere constantly. And back then, I was using Instant Ocean. Um, I switched to Red Sea Coral Pro, and everything's doing good, but I'm not getting the growth that I used to, used to get. I mean, I used to get growth that I would see literally within a matter of weeks, just like slowly getting bigger and spreading. I used to have um, these green star pops used to be on this glass over here. Like they had taken like a big patch over on this glass, and they were growing like down the rocks over here and up around this glass. So I took a razor blade and I scraped that off and put a little, few little pieces here at the bottom. Um, that was long, 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 long time ago. And I noticed when I switched over to my salts, I switched the salts that I wasn't getting the kind of growth that I was getting. And then I started thinking also that um, I have a skimmer on here. So this skimmer is quite big. This is an Aquamax HOB1. 
I mean, this thing is meant for like 75 gallon tanks. And as you can see, this whole setup is pretty monstrous. You know, there's a 10 gallon with a great big old skimmer and a great big old filter over there and my current USA Marine LEDs, you know, working when I had that mounted to the wall. So I'm wondering um, if maybe I should take this skimmer off. Just run it with no skimmer and just do like, you know, water changes because I might be having this water too clean, possibly, is what I'm thinking. And now this skimmer's been on here for about almost two years, and this tank is almost four years old. So, um, yeah, tell me what y'all guys think, think Think about that. Is is this skimmer taking out too much stuff out of, out of the water here? Like it's keeping the tank too clean? Um, if you look at this tank from the sides, I mean, it is clear as day. I mean, you can see dead through it to that chair and that pillow or, or over there. I mean, the water's crystal clear. I mean, it's just crazy how clean this tank stays. So there's the chair. Let's scroll over real slow till we see the pillow and the chair on the other side. There it is. I mean, that's pretty darn clean. Pretty, you know, clear, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to take this skimmer off of here. Just literally take it off, clean it up, store it, see what happens, um, and see what kind of growth I get. Nothing's dying, things stay alive, but it doesn't grow the way it used to grow. So I don't know if it is um, because I was using di different salts back then. Um, I was using the reef crystals. Um, the uh, So back then, I'm sure it's still the same way now, but they had um, higher calcium levels in there, you know, in the reef crystals. I noticed that said, now with more calcium. So I don't know if that had an effect on it, making it grow crazy and stuff, or, you know, I'm not sure. So at this point, I'm gonna start with taking off the skimmer. So to let me know if y'all think that's a great idea. Um, this skimmer, that thing is mad dirty. I mean, it just, it does its job. You know, I don't have to really, I let this thing go for weeks at a time. That stuff gets so thick and crazy in there. Um, I don't clean it very often, but when it gets nasty, I take the whole thing apart, take off the whole skimmer and clean it. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on. So, um, I put a little piece of acro in here just the other day. It's not bleached. Um, if y'all can tell, eh, we'll put this filter on here. That didn't help things, but it's not bleached out. It's just like a, you know, not some awesome macro or anything. It's just like a nice little tannish brown. It's supposed to have green, green tips on it. It's kind of hard to see in here, but it's not dead. I promise you. Um, I just stuck that in here just to see what, what it, what it would do. It didn't cost much. Um, I got it 25% off at a local L LFS. It's just a little frag. So I'm just going to put that in there and see what it does. Hammer's doing great. It's all happy. Everything in, in here is happy. It's just not growing, getting the growth that I used to have back in the day. I'm trying to, you know, figure out why that is. So, anyway, that's what's going on. So, leave me some comments. Should I take off the skimmer? Um, should I dose this tank, you know, with, with alk or something? I'm thinking about doing that also, doing some dosing, um, like a gravity-fed drip doser on here, just to see what that does. Um, I don't know, I'm just trying to figure it all out. You know, it's all trial and error. But on a whole, things doing good, it's clean. Everything's happy. So that's what's going on there. So, and then there is the Bio Orb. Cool little tank, I really enjoy it. And for some reason, everybody else does too. So, all right guys, thanks a lot if you made it to the end. This has been about a 20 minute video. It's kind of long, but sorry for that. Just want to show y'all what was going on. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.